Hello, my name's Ian Scott Massey. I've been an artist for a long time, but I've also been a teacher, and I've been spending a lot of time thinking about how to make watercolour painting more achievable, easier to understand. My work consists of big washes of colour, a little bit of detail, but really lots of atmosphere. That's what interests me. Pictures that have feeling. I also like quite a lot of bright and dark contrast. So we're going to look at how do you tackle these basic artistic ideas with just this little handful of equipment. So the course is going to take you through a number of stages, starting off with how to mix colour, how to explore colour, how to find out what the colour does in rich tones and pale tones, and to look at the, the colours you've actually got on your palette, what sort of range have they got? And then how do they behave in water? What sort of wonderful things happen when you let the paint do some of the work? Some of the colours we're going to use are very, very common indeed, not particularly expensive, but they can give terrific results. We'll look at how to combine colours. By doing lots of little test patches like this, we'll find out what happens without having the pressure of having to make a picture come out of this at the end of the process. We'll find out how the paint will move following the brush. And build up small pictures which give you an idea of what watercolour will do. Finding out the textures, and the depth of colour, the contrasts that you can achieve. And all of this will be done through a series of exercises, which include some of the basic things like how do you paint a wash? How do you work onto wet paper? How do you smooth out the paint so that what you have starts to begin to look like something that might actually be a real sky. There'll be lots of tips about how to tidy up your work and how to make sure that you don't damage the work once you've created it. And we'll be looking at how to tease these dazzling effects out of these colours. So in these little test pieces, you'll begin to see the potential for working up to a big picture. And along the way, you'll understand what the colours themselves actually do, what they look like on paper. All the way, you'll be keeping a log of what it is you're doing, making a note so you know what colours you've been using. And then we'll start by working towards making pictures. At first, very, very small, and then building up to a project where we explore tackling a, a whole picture. In this case, it's going to be trees against the sky. Only a couple of colours, but we'll explore what can be done, how you can get atmosphere into this, how light and shade and contrast can work for you. Along the way, you're going to learn brush control. You'll find out how to make tones bring parts of your picture forward and send parts of them back. There are nine modules in the course. And in the course of all this, you will gain a great deal of experience in making watercolour work for you. So I hope you'll join me exploring watercolour paint in colour beginnings.